I love swing dancing. I'm so amazed that this humble African-American dance that was created in the 1920s has now proliferated again in the 21st century all around the planet. There are maybe less than 100,000 swing dancers globally, and the dance is less than 100 years old. When you think about that compared to other world dance forms like waltz and ballet and salsa and tango, I mean, these are art forms that have lasted for a long time from other countries. And that's because people respect the art forms enough to properly master them and preserve them for future generations, while at the same time adding their unique artistic artistic expressions to the art forms without undermining them. And I would really love to see the art form of Lindy Hop live more than just a couple of hundred years. Why not? One of the things that gets me most excited about living in the 21st century and participating in a black American dance that's considered vintage is the fact that I get to go to international events all over the world. Now I've been to over 200 events in the last 10 years and some of these events are better than others. Some events focus on the historical musical aspects of the genre. Other events focus on the spectacular dance history that we have. And some events separate themselves by adding little things that add value to the swing dancing culture without, keyword, without undermining the music and dance foundations that have been set for us over 75 years ago. I can honestly say there are a handful of events that I've gone to over these years that have nailed that creative balance. And one of these events that I consider to be a perfect 10 is called Gastro Swing. Now there are so many great things about this event and I'm going to go really fast. First of all, Gastro Swing's focus is on food. Not just any food, but food from the Basque country in the north of Spain. I've enjoyed some of the most satisfying calories ever pushed into my face. <laughs> So good. I had some of the best beans and pork for lunch. Yes, beans and pork, it's good for you. It keeps things flowing, especially when you're dancing. Yeah. I mean, I had a salad that was phenomenal. A salad, folks. How much love can people put into a salad? Just incredible. I officially had the best fish I've ever had in my life. I tried my best to be super posh and professional around the students, but I inhaled that fish less than three minutes. And of course the desserts, I can't forget about those. Generally when I'm at home, I eat dessert first, but I had to behave myself when I was out overseas. Of course we had dancing outside. It was amazing to see how beautiful this city is with vibrant trees and little nooks and crannies of where you could just kind of walk and get lost throughout the town. I love that. Just an all around wonderful experience being able to be with people, sharing swing dancing with swing dancers and also sharing it with the public. Now one of the most exciting parts of the event is being able to go on short excursions up into the hills and mountains and really get a chance to see how beautifully green Vitoria is. We went up into the hills to see some just beautiful scenery and then took a detour for the unlimited cider and unlimited beef. Folks, I mean, this is probably the most fun part about this event. I mean, you get to hang out after class and spend an enormous amount of time dancing to live music or getting a tan, which I don't need. Or you can just hang out and be silly with students or uh, get your groove on with some of the teachers. It's just wonderful to be able to have a, such a unique mix with the ingredients of a traditional swing dance event. Now, of course, the venues were different. They had the more traditional Lindy Hop event venue where there's no real alcohol, you've got plenty of water, you have opportunity to be able to listen to live music and social dance, and also participate in Jack and Jill's. Another great thing about this event is they added a unique Jack and Jill called the Golden Jack and Jill. And it's exactly what you think about. We all drench ourselves in gold and then get out there and start competing. Not like that at all. It was more like the golden Jack and Jill where you have senior Lindy Hoppers versus those who are younger. And it was actually great to participate in that as an instructor and also to watch many of the contestants have such a fulfilling time. The other late night venue was at a place called the Garage or Garage or Garage. It was awesome, it was really different. It had three different levels. You could go get a haircut. You could also go up on the top and look down at the floor. Of course, the music was great. You had a band that played New Orleans style and you also had DJs to complement that with more Harlem style swing. It was just a good balance of everything that I normally like at a traditional swing dance event, except they upped the ante by adding all of these extra benefits that would really make the experience special and memorable. Big shout out to all the students who took Carla and I's class. I salute you guys for having the faith in yourself to kind of start over with a whole new approach 
And anytime you need help from us, just reach out to me on social media. One of the things that I would consider doing if I were to make the event even better as a participant is I would wish they would have a little bit more diversity on the live music style. Don't get me wrong, the music was fantastic, and of course that's my personal preference, but in hindsight it would have been nice to be able to have a little bit more diverse live music as we did receive with the diverse DJ music. So Gastro Swing, is it worth it? Yes. It's definitely one of those places as an American I would want to go if I was venturing out to Europe on a vacation. It is a perfect event to go to if you live in Europe or anywhere close to the region. If you want to just go swing dancing and have a good time, you're going to get that plus all these additional benefits. So with that said guys, hopefully I get a chance to see you at Gastro Swing in the future. If not, I look forward to seeing you in my classes online. Take care. Oh! <laughs>